Welcome back one and all to my 100 subscriber special, Final Fantasy VI, The Dragon's Den. We just broke the seal of water, and I'm feeling rather quirky, and... Uh, this team needs to do something with itself. Wait, it's blocked by the seal of lightning. Oh boy, that fight is not going to be fun. Seal of Fire. Is there anywhere I can go in this place? Back to this team to just see what they can do. See if they actually need help or if it was just a, a clever ploy. Um, Rum is the weakest of the physical attackers on this team. Ow. Which is sad because she doesn't do too bad physically. The Rainbow Brush just boosts her magic, which she excels in above all others. So. Yeah. I do believe she gets another brush in here that is, like, excessively more powerful than the other. So, uh, be looking for that. I, I know I am. Ooh, this, this way is unlocked. What's this? Oh, cool. I will remember that as there. What is this? It appears to be a gravestone, but there's no inscription. Oh, it's one of those. Okay. Um, if you remember, the world is square. Oh, god damn it, no. Don't like you. The Yojimbo uh, can kill you upon killing him, which is never fun. Can you run, please? Well, that's something. We know they will live. And the outsider is just me. As we remember. Let's cure Aga. Um, I was saying something. Uh, the world is square from Daryl's tomb. That uh, practically says, Oh, Joy, I get to fight you again. Prepare to be for Aga to death. Um, the world is square is the same general thing. We need to find inscriptions and then put it on the plaque in the proper spot. Never good. Never fun, but, you know, it adds a little bit of backtracking to this dungeon, which already has a lot of it. And I'm wondering what the switch does. And I'm not fighting you guys. Get out. Um, hmm. Eh. <laughs> Backlash is fun. Never mind the fact that the outsiders are, like, really fucking fast. Oh, come on. I need lock out of here. He's, he's kind of getting ganged up on here. A lot. Get out. Thank you. Damn it, this place. I, I know running is the wussy's way out. I don't want to hear it. I never said I was a pro at this. I just said it was my favorite game ever. Something's written on the wall. When the door is open, the red shall be awoken. There's an end switch. Okay. Where? Oh. Oh, God. He's free. I don't like the red dragon. A distant door opens. I actually fear this place. Like, Final Fantasy isn't really a game to be afraid of while playing for any particular reason. It's usually pretty tame. This place terrifies me, because the dragons were never nice, and in the mythology of the game, they sealed away the most awesome power ever, Crusader. And really, he is, like, the most powerful of the, uh, espers. Um, the dragons were never nice on that regard. Ooh, another seal. Blocked by the seal of lightning. Okay, so I can't do anything else in here for now. Should I let them stay there and wait? I think I might just do that. Might just do that. Um, I'm not too sure. Uh, I'll leave them down here, how to say, at the entrance to the room. 
because I can't really think of anywhere else it could go, to be frank. Actually, there's that one room. Hmm. I wonder where that led. I remember passing up a seal of ice, like, way back. Yeah, it's like down here. Let's see where this takes us. If anywhere. Hello, great behemoth. Prepare to be duped out so horribly. Oh, please. Smack. <sighs> I need to have a team jump on the save before long. I actually need a team to actually go that way. Um, well then. That's what I get for not thinking ahead. I will... I will stop this team here, so... Onward. Actually... This team can go do that. Excellent idea. The first... No, why? Not worrying about you. Oh, come on, it's a preemptive strike. Get everyone the hell out of there. Thank you. Now, let's let them take a tent. I had 95, 95 of these, 96, 95, 96. I had a great deal of tents. Still semi kind of do. Um, are they okay? No, they're not. They need magic. The tent trick makes this place so much more manageable. And I, I'm not even messing with that. It's it's very much true. Yeah, because Rome is really aching for magic. Even with the gold hairpin, she's aching for magic. So everyone's maxed out. Let's put them on the switch. Lots of team switching. Get used to it. Have team two. Go yonder. Go forth. And more great behemoth. Who's not surprised? Huh. He is so weak. Oh my god. Anyway. Oh boy. No, it's down this way. Need to go out here. Come up around. And through this door yonder. Yay. Where is this putting me? Hello, Grey Dragon, which I'm avoiding. Well, thank you all for running in like fashion. Where, where does this put me? I don't even know where I am right now. Get me out of here. I don't feel like putting up with dragons right now. Of course, it is the dragon's den. As such, you'll be seeing a lot of dragons. Just throwing that out there. That is for the treasure chest. I'm willing to put money on that. While they're off doing that, this team shall go over here. Oh yo. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Um the fire dragons in here. Dragon Avis. Yeah, we we can tango, I guess. Go Jimbo. Dragon Avis is has a high evasion, if I remember correctly. Um, but I think he is weak to holy in some regard, because the god hand did do a decent amount of damage. Which is nice. Eh, not bad. Not bad at all. I approve. Okay, this is where this team's gonna have fun. Gao is not going to go into rage. This fight is bullshit. We need best defensive gear. Okay. Breathing in. <gasps> Breathing it. Let's roll. Actually. Um. Yeah. I got this. I got this. Actually, no. I will be right back. I'm going to go save. I'll be right back. On the way back, we fight this guy. It's Nabadon. 
Um, he's a zombie-like thing we've seen before. Is sort of kind of weak to holy. As such, we are happy. Very much happiness. Because we have nothing but really holy weapons. <laughs> the Longinus, the God Hand, and the Lightbringer. Kind of breaks me a little bit, but I'll deal with it. Actually, is the Longinus even a holy spear? That is like my biggest problem with all spears late game. They're all holy elemental, but again, we'll be right back. And I have returned. Um, I am pretty much set. I'm scared. Because this fight is really hard. Enter the Red Dragon. You can't kill him yourself. It's sacrificing life force to make itself stronger. Wanna know what that means? It means, effectively, that while as you can do no damage to him, he does damage to himself upon attacking. You want re-raise? All sorts of defensive stuff. And haste, so you can improve your chances of healing in time. Gao is not going to be attacking at all. Um, no one's going to be attacking at all, honestly. Someone said. Yep. He has an instant kill move. How friendly. I don't know if this team can do it. Because that really fucking hurt. Yeah, not a snowball's chance in hell. Which is ironic because I'm fighting hell right now and he hurts. He hurts so bad. For every action, he does like a lot of fucking damage, yo. Damn it. Come on, Celeste. You got this. You have the Illumina. You, you, you can do this. You can do this. Survive. Yes. Yes. Damn it. No. You must live. Stop attacking. Stop attacking. Oh, God. This is scary, yo. If I had to venture a guess... I'd say he's probably one of the more painful and God damn it. I'm dead. Can't say I didn't tell you so. Oh damn it. He gives you a little bit of time to buff up. I'm gonna spend that time using Shell instead of well, haste and then start shelling everyone. Because that is where the pain comes on. God damn it. Oh. Uh, you are a prick. I'm just throwing that out there. Give me the fuck. Oh, god damn it. <sighs> Wasting MP doing this when I shouldn't be saving it for the hell that is the red dragon. The problem is, Gao can become invincible against this guy if you have a particular rage called the Magic Urn. It effectively makes him absorb all elemental uh, attacks, as well as um, cast Kyrega constantly, which, as you can already notice, is so amazing. I'm actually considering casting Reflect, but then I wouldn't be able to heal when he starts his onslaught of 10 some attacks. <laughs> so I really know not what to make of that. Okay, uh, take two against Red Dragon. This time with more haste and shell. You only have to last a certain amount of time. That is all this fight is for. You need to last. Now let's show. Where is it? Thank you. Edgar first. And then... Seven. No one would be really nice here? Shelga. Just saying. Why is it always go? Why is it always pain? So much pain. Again! Oh my god. No joke, that just 
Holy fuck. Oh my god. It doesn't do you any good, dude. You're dead. Oh my god. Ugh. I can't do anything with this team. That is so sad. I need Terra. There. Terra needs to be the one to take on that dragon. Ah, damn it. I, I can't give this team any kind of chance, can I? I, I just can't. They... It's sad. It really is. I like this team. Let's get Terra back over here. I, I hate that. I do. I, I like that team. May not seem like it, but the only way I could possibly win is with Terra's absolute defense. I hate saying that. Because you practically have to cheat, kind of, to do it. I hate this. I'm just letting all of you guys know this. I, I'm I'm not fond of this in the slightest. I don't like using the absolute defense as a perfect weapon. It's cheap to me, and I dislike it. It's, like I said, perfect. Terra cannot get hurt. But it fills me with sadness just to think that I'm not fighting exactly fair. I like challenge. The red dragon is just completely kicking my ass, and I cannot beat him. Locke's team might be able to do it. I have a small bit of hope that they'd be able to pull it off. Edgar and them, they can't. It's a foregone conclusion. They can't do it. And that, that does fill me with a certain amount of sadness. They are a good team. They can do damage. They can deal damage like no one's business. They're just not in a good position to. And that that does make me rather sad. Because I hate I hate making characters seem stupidly weak. If it wasn't the red dragon, they could do it. I have no doubt in my mind that they'd be able to pull it off. If it just wasn't the red dragon. And the Earth Dragon. The Earth Dragon. All the dragons in this place are just so stupid hard. I'm going to quickly grab that chest before that other team goes up and does their thing. Seems fair. I, I was really hoping this team would get a little bit more shine time because they got like no shine time at all. They were actually the reason I had so much trouble in the final dungeon. I actually had to replay the final dungeon, and uh, it, it went miraculously better because I had more time to grind. But uh, I'm really not feeling good about the amount of suck my third team has against the dragons. They are the only team that is losing. And it, it's perfectly understandable as to why they're losing. I need perfect defense to fight the Red Dragon. The Meltdown attack is a piercer. I should have realized that shell would have been useless. But, I gave it a try anyway. And, it could have gone better. <laughs> it could have gone so much better. I, I'm honestly sad right now. I don't like this. It is my least favorite thing right now. Never saw this team before. Hence why I'm so definitely out of here. As soon as, as, soon as she thundagos me and has her way with me. Um, how's that working? I can't enter that door though. 
this. How am I? Huh? Hmm. I'll figure out what that is off screen. <laughs> Hate saying that, but Ooh. I have. Let's take this team and beat the Red Dragon before we do anything else. Hello, Zervan. I'm not in the mood right now. My absolute defense needs to go kick me some ass for revenge of my team that gets like no publicity at all. I mean, Gao even becomes General Leo. That's something to take note of. But here we go. Let's see if Terra's absolute defense gives her a hand in this. Highly doubtful, because it's painful. Uh, Hastega. Three rays, Terra. Absolutely Terra. And then three rays, Shadow. And then three rays, Setzer. Terra should be better off than everyone else because of the perfect defense. Ha! Blocked right back. Three rays, Strago. Magic Kyrega. This is just painful to think of. I, I really wish I could do this with the other team. Let's do protect. I know no one was really hurt in all that, but... Damn. Not quite fast enough. Re-raise. He actually hit her. That's that's amazing. Not even going to joke there. That's impressive. Oh my god! I was about to say it's like, well, that that was stupidly painful for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> Oh good, like auto protect. That that's awesome, actually. That like worked out so much better than I could have imagined. Re-raise. Sorry for being quiet. I'm I'm just hoping this team can do it. Let's re-auto haste. Not auto haste. Haste guy. Again, you're hitting her and it doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't. That should heal her though. And uh well that hurt. Ow. So let me cure again. Well, you were a little slow on the draw there, buddy. Just saying. I probably should have handed off some fire shields or some shit. That would have made a little bit more sense. Giving people fire shields, you know, against the fire dragon. Oh, come on, Terry. Block. Thank you. Shadow has some decent bait on his own. Every time he attacks, he's sacrificing part of his life. That is the idea behind this fight. Last. It's all you can do. If I tried to attack him, I'd do nothing. Although you can't, could have kind of figured that out on your own. Let's get ready to bring him back. Because I know he's dead. Oh, he's not. Okay. Here I go. Try to get re-raise on them. Lord forbid. I hate doing it with this team because it's kind of like I'm cheating. Except I'm not spamming the ultimate defense as much as I thought I would be. Come on, Tara. What the hell are you doing? Well, at least I got re-raise on him. Before he got his... No, I didn't. Ooh! 
I could have sworn I had. Oh well. Oh, perfect defense. Oh, here it comes. Terra lived though, because she has three rays. Dragon's life force has expired. And he tries to finish you off with a flare. Prick. Red dragon down. Obtained Apocalypse. Which is her special weapon anyway. The red dragon has been slain. Uh, dragon's dead. The evil you have wrought. Now, Locke's team can go through there. Good times. I'm still sad. I'm sorry. And then the red seal over there is down. <sighs> I'm, I'm sad. I am. Seal fire is broken. Now, before we go any further... Yell. Good lord. Let's see where else this team can go while we're at it. God, fuck. I don't care, just just attack. Oh, I, I do even try to equip the Apocalypse. The Apocalypse is Terra's ultimate quote-unquote weapon. I do believe I'm going to keep with the Ragnarok to keep the ultimate defense. Is it cheating? Kind of, sort of, maybe. I need it in here. If it were possible any other way. I'd be more than happy to. Anyway, Terra's weapon, the Apocalypse. Mighty Blade, forged in a bygone age. Her evasion doesn't draw all that much. Hmm. I'll keep with the Ragnarok. Ragnarok, Apocalypse, same damn thing. <laughs> Not literally, but technically. So let's see where we can go. Oh, great behemoth. Why must you? Why must you insult me in your behemothy ways? Because you're already dead. You're, you're, you're like very dead right now. You are like super dead now. You are beyond dead. Goodbye. Overkill. Just a little bit. This is a good level grind spot for anyone who needs it. If you want to come on in here just to level grind, you are a ballsy motherfucker, and I salute you. Otherwise, get in, get out. Just, just do it. I'm, I'm not feeling great about how I had to take down the red dragon. I remember not having the perfect defense in my original. Uh, when I owned the game and uh, could play it myself, I remember not having perfect defense and still killing him, or outlasting him. It took a few tries, sure, but I, I did it, and I need another team over here. Okay, um, that's where my third team can come in then. To hell with all else. Locks team is on their path. They can, they can do that staff, that staff, staff, stuff. The stuff of which needs doing. To quote probably my most favorite LP here, Nakata Lily. Stuff in with, it's like, we are going into this place to get stuff so we can do things. Yes. Okay, let's get our Patokuses over here. Hmm. Enough of the great behemoths. I would like to retreat from a few fights. Sorry, I'm getting the hiccups all of a sudden. That was fast. Okay, so now we just need to bring over Team Tweedle over here. Door seal from the outside. So I need 
lock to go restep on that switch so they can get up there so we can start doing shit. This place makes more use of the three teams than the final dungeon did, as you can clearly tell. Better use in the sense that any team can practically do anything. Hmm, was that Mog that just came to level? I believe it was Mog. Don't quote me. I'm falling behind on who's doing what now. However, I will tell you that team number one will be taking on the final boss of the area. Both final bosses of the area, when I come to think of it. Hello, Zervan. Goodbye, Zervan. Come on, everyone. It's about to you know you want to go with them. It's not like it's a very hard fight, I just don't want to deal with it. Um, you need to stay on your switch. You need to get out of there. Start working for stuff. How am I supposed to get that treasure? I will look up exactly what that treasure is, and if I find it worth anything, I will come back for it. Otherwise, I don't really give a damn. Don't forget me. The pain. See, Sabin has fire resistance. It was just Flare. And I do believe Flare Star, that kind of outgunned him excessively. Which is understandable, because... No, thank you. Thank you, Lightbringer, for being a good defensive weapon. Uh, so much. So much death. Get out. I don't like the Vilia. Actually, I haven't even killed one yet. I have not killed a Vilia yet. I almost feel unachieved now. There's like zero achievement right now, and it, it hurts me on the inside. Tent. There are several different save rooms. This is not the only one. This is just the first. And I am saving. Slot one. There we go. It has nothing to do with the fact that this team is a slightly lower level than the other teams. Like, normally I'd blame that, but really, they're geared up in such a fashion and know every spell they have perfect equipment on for themselves. Relics might need a little bit of work, but all in all, they are well equipped, their stats are good. If level were a factor, I would have thought of that already. <laughs> to be honest. Of course I have to fight you. Because you're mean to me. You're Jimbo. Even though you're dead already. Um, I was hoping to be able to use a merit award on Gao, so he could then wield a sword, increasing his attack power exponentially. And then Shock would do oh so much more. But it already does a really good amount of damage, so I'm not going to rightly complain about it. See, that 5k is not bad at all. It's a good amount of damage, considering it takes a critical from the Lightbringer to Trumpet. I'd probably give him someone's unused ultimate weapon, <laughs> to be honest. So, yeah, let's get Locke up there. I'm really sorry for anyone who likes team number three and just finds them completely useless. At least in my run of it, because... I do like team number three. I love team number three. They are just proving to be complete and utter pansies. And they are a good team. They are. Well balanced with magic. Edgar is middle ground. Sabin is all out offensive. And um, Gal is your wild card. It's a good balanced team. Uh, I don't really know if I have a wild card in each team. I know I have a magic and an offensive on each team. And then one or two balanced people. And that is a good team setup. I highly suggest you have someone set up for that exact extreme purpose. Otherwise, you're going to immediately regret it. Especially in here. 
though one dragon, if these guys go up against it, Realm is going to be useless against. I'm warning that. Realm will do next to nothing to this dragon. Every other dragon, yeah, she's more than useful. Because most dragons have elemental affinities, and she can then thusly bomb the living piss out of everything. Oh, Farega. I love you so. Wee. Boom. Oh, it's alive? That's... Okay, it's dead. Happiness. Cyan, go you, dude. So, is the left door? Yep. Let's see what we have over yonder. Something I don't want to fight. Big surprise. Leave Rom alone. Leave everyone alone. Just let me run. No, I, I know an easier way to go about this. I do. Teleport. I don't think they cast spells very likely when... Will you let me... Just let me... Thank you. I might as well go forth and mention the fact that the dragons aren't the only bosses in here. I really wish I was joking. What is this? If ye would face a divine drake, search ye between the molten poles within the inner eye. The holy dragon. The molten poles is the lava room within the inner eye. Is he in that treasure chest? Hmm. That's something to think about. Let's get this team up there. How long is this video been? It's what part three? I might need to end it here in just a moment. Again, this is pretty much blind. I have absolutely no idea the layout of this place aside from what I've already seen. I it's been far too long since I've played. Hmm. Ladders. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, Grippy Hina. I'm sad faced that this team is like getting nothing done except for helping other teams get their job done. Which is really not the way it's supposed to be. This team was supposed to shine. Because they had Leo. Effectively. Hmm. I'm scared. Hexadragon. Well, this is a new one. Ow. And he's clearly weak to holy damage. Which makes this a lot more fun for me. You know what? I can probably kill him like this. Yep. Why waste a good turn? So let's heal up and see what that other team can do now. Because I really hate to think of them pinned back there. We'll come back to that lock. Now, where the hell am I? Somewhere. Okay. Good to know. Next time we will continue continue deeper into the Dragon's Den. This has been Fenrir. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.